letter by King Leopold II. And he said, make these black people tell them, hurry, it is difficult for a rich man to go to heaven. It is like a camel going through a needle's eye. And that's what you must indoctrinate them with. Indoctrinate them. Tell them it is okay or they can struggle and suffer here on earth. Tell them they must not mind to struggle and suffer here on earth. Because in heaven, they will walk on the streets of gold. Tell them that the gold which is here on earth is worthless. I'm saying this to open your mind for the damage that is in the mind of the black person was crafted, it was designed from the church pulpit. And that is why I also use the church pulpit to address and reverse the damage that is in the minds of black people. This is one of those things that I find very distasteful about religion as a whole, especially Christianity. Um, when you see the way this religion was brought to us, when you see the way we start practicing this religion and the method at which it was forced down our throat, it will make you wonder if really this religion was a force for good or was used for domination. Because remember, before these people came with Christianity, we had our own religion, right? We had our own cultures, we had our own traditions. And those cultures and traditions protected our forefathers for many, many years. They survived through the hard times believing in those religions. And when the white men came with Christianity, they told us that our religion, our customs, the custom of our forefathers were all too barbaric and that we need to embrace the one they are giving us. And many of us, as gullible as we were and still are, embrace the religion of the white people, which is Christianity, of course. And there's one thing that people fail to understand, that while missionaries preach the Bible to people in Africa, to um, free them from the shackles of the barbaric custom and traditions they had those days. So the missionaries will say, their cousins, the people with guns, were out there stealing and destroying the continent, pillaging the continent, killing our people and uh, stealing our wealth. So why one fraction of the white people were preaching religion and forgiveness and, uh, and the respect to, for, for elders, the other section was killing and destroying. And then you turn around and say to yourself that Christianity was a religion of peace. Do you know the number of wars that Christian missionaries fought? The number of people they killed? Do you, do, do, do you know that? Do you know the, 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 the popes encourage people to fight wars on the behalf of the church, a.k.a. Jerusalem, you know, the holy wars. Do you know the number of people that were killed? So before you start talking about religion, remember, like I said in the previous video, 
in my own opinion, it hasn't really lived up to what it is supposed to do because I have found it to be so one-sided. I have found it to be something that a few people have used to benefit themselves. And it has always been like that. It has always been like that. Why we were being given the Bible, our land and uh, 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 resources were being taken away from us. Why we were being told by the, by the missionaries to be submissive, to be humble, to love thy neighbor as thy serf, which is a good thing after all. The white men were there collecting, stealing, and forcing us into slavery. Listen, my brothers and sisters. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. We have always be, been taken advantage of. We, has, we have always by the white men, by the colonial masters, by the slave masters, by our politicians, and now by some men of God. We have always made ourselves an easy target. And so, we have always been taken advantage of. Because we have never understood our rights. We have never understood who we really are. And any time... An individual does not know who he is or who she is, and it does not recognize the power that he or she has. They will be taken advantage of. They would. And that is what has happened to us in the continent. Even till now, because we are weak, because we are ignorant, because we do not want to learn, because we do not want to do anything for ourselves, some men of God have turned us into their piggy bank. Some men of God have decided to use the Bible to extort us. Some men of God have recognized the Bible against us because we do not want to learn, because we do not want to do the hard work, because we want quick fix to our problems. That is it. That is this. Even the Western powers have taken advantage of us. Because we rely on them for every single thing. And now they are not dictating what we do and how we do it. The black man has always been at the bottom of the food chain. Always. And until we rise up, until we broke free from the shackles, we will not go anywhere. We won't go anywhere. Because ask yourself this question. Will ask yourself this question. If Christianity was a solution to our problems, would we still be suffering the way we are suffering right now? Because most of our leaders are religious people. Okay? Most of them are either Christians or Muslims. They go to church and the mosque every now and then. And if they can still treat us as poorly as they are doing, has religion as a whole really brought about any change? Because if religion was supposed to do good to all of us, was supposed to be that force for good in our society, our politicians who are Christians wouldn't be treating us as badly as they are doing. Because after all, they are believers, aren't they? And so they should follow the word of God. Isn't it supposed to be like that? If religion was supposed to be that force for good in our society, then our men of God won't, won't be doing the things they are doing to us, won't be taking advantage of, of us, won't be extorting from us, won't be lying to us that if we so sit in the house of the Lord, the Lord will reward us times two. Won't be 
using this prosperity gospel to manipulate us. They won't be doing that, would they? Would they? So, my brothers and sisters, I just want you to absorb what I've said and let it sink in for a second. Let it sink in for a second. 